My name is Bahir Chitos for the Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. I am Jennifer Simpson, and I am here in Houston, Texas. My sister is there. Houston is all right. I mean, it's, uh, it's cool. I, mean, it's, it's See, cool. I can't it's hear you very well. Let me turn it up. Okay. All right, so let's dive into it. What the heck is PR? Public relations? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on and thank you for inviting me. Um, but public relations is basically the the study of, of branding and, and building reputations and positive communications to the rest of the world. And it's so multifaceted because people in this industry, they all have different areas of expertise. Um, Many, um, like my, many of my colleagues in the beginning, start with entertainment, but the it, the, the it goes across uh, many industries. So, how is that PR different than sending an ad out or having an advertising out? Because a lot of entrepreneurs confuse advertising, marketing, and branding with PR. It's very confusing. So, I, I'm yes. going to dissect it one by one, and we're going to get clarification on it. Okay, so public relations is basically the practice of earning media, earning free media. Um, we're professionals who have the know-how of actually positioning a brand so that media outlets and other public entities would want to talk about you and would want to have you a part of their platform. And typically, those of us who work in this industry, we're paid up front to handle those things uh, by retainer or you know, however that, that agreement is worked out. But uh, we actually go out and we work hard to um, earn media for our clients. And what, what does that media do for you? Like, why would I want media? Why would I want Channel 7 or some news station or some media online on their magazine to pick me up and have a, either have a PR release to them? And, and that was another question that I had. So I'm going to get to it. Like, when you send a press release and they put it out, is that the same as PR or is that the first step? Yeah, so basically um, ha the press release is the first step actually, where you know the, the public relations specialist would send out information or announcements be on behalf of the client. And then actually having a media placement would be the result of that. If it was a, you know, if they desire or they're interested in what they've read on that press release, then you have then earned media. And so that is basically what public relations is throughout the whole process actually sending out, requesting, or um, just, you know, seeking opportunities for your client. And then you're, you're successful if you've built that relationship with a journalist and actually earn a placement. And then to answer your other question, why would you want to have um, public relations or be on a news uh, broadcast? It's because, you know, typically when you see someone on a actual news uh, story or you see them on TV, it builds trust, it builds uh, a reputation, it builds relevance. And so you can't buy advertising like that. Um, you know, advertising going into the next question is something that you can go out, you can create the, the, the an ad, you create a, a photo, you copy um, or do copy editing for what you would like that advertising piece to read. But that's something that, you know, you purchase on your own. You, you build a relationship with an advertising agency, or you can use things like today you have Facebook ads, YouTube ads. Um, there's so many different ways to advertise, but you would actually then go in to decide how you would want to purchase and have those things broadcast across the world or to different audiences. So that's something so what that are, you pay for. Cool. So what are the three, what are the three elements that a PR release should have that makes a newsworthy? Because just because you send a PR doesn't mean it's newsworthy. So what makes it right. newsworthy? Absolutely. So, you know, you want to make sure that when you're targeting different media outlets, that your message aligns with what their audience is already interested in. So you're adding value to that particular audience. Someone working in the automotive industry wouldn't necessarily have a story that would be interesting to someone who's interested in the healthcare industry or entertainment industry. So you want to make sure that 
you're targeting the right media outlets with those pitches. And so, um, you know, first, like my my um, practices, I want to make sure that I let that media outlet know up front that I have something that their audience could benefit from. And then that opens the door for me to then go in to say, my client has done X, Y, Z. And so not only am I able to share that client's story, but they're also able to have information that their audience will benefit from. And ultimately, you know, that's something that would help us be more successful in getting that media place. So let's say English is my first language. I'm a good, semi good writer. I write a <laughs> press release and I just shoot some emails to some uh, agencies. Uh, why is it quick? Why is it I don't hear nothing back? So because I've had a few individuals that have said that to me, they're like, oh, pure releases doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hold on. Who wrote it? Who sent it? Where did you send it? So elaborate a little bit why individuals need a PR rep. Well, you know, the PR rep is trained in an area where they, you know, have those strategies and get strategies in place to know how to develop that press release to know how to do the research that it takes prior to sending that press release. And we understand who to target, why to target them, when to target them. Um, you know, and the structure of that email, you know, there's so many different elements to that. You know, it, it's great to be a good writer, but at the same time, there is a science to developing a press release that will garner a media placement. And you got that science down. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, all right, cool. So, what's difference? Be what's the difference between branding and marketing? Well, they go hand in hand. So, branding is developing the language and the communication of how that particular um, client, company, or whatever that particular project holds looks, speaks, sounds, acts, um, communicates, and so that is your brand. So, for instance, when you see Coca Cola. You know that the red, red and white is Coca Cola. When you, you know, um, I think Doritos had um, an ad recently where they didn't even put the name on the bag, but you know that triangle is a Doritos chip. So it's basically becoming, you know, recognizable to people without even saying anything and, and building that reputation. Marketing is the ongoing communication of that brand and continuing to develop, uh, you know, reaching your target audiences with different tactics, content pieces. Um, there's just so many different elements to marketing, but branding and marketing go hand in hand. You know, we want to make sure that we do both of those effectively and with, you know, a, a plan in place. So something that comes into mind. So in order for it to be newsworthy, it's got to be one relatively similar or aligned with what the news station or the outlet audience have. So that's one. What else is, is entitled? Like, I understand that if there's an emergency or something happened or somebody got, you know, some type of a Nobel Prize, like those things, I know. But outside of that, like a normal entrepreneur, what are some of the events that needs to happen for it to be newsworthy? Like, did it have to help a thousand people? Like, what does it have to happen for that to get into news? Sometimes it's just about timing. You know, um, sometimes you, it's kind of like winning the lottery. You, If you win that person's attention and they need somebody at the last minute, then, you know, sometimes it works that way. But ultimately, journalists want you to benefit their audience. In, in one way or the other. They want you to have something to offer. Um, you know, if, if they were writing about everybody, then, you know, everybody would be on the news all the time. So you have to have a reason. And, you, you know, it, it just has to be noteworthy, pressworthy for them to even talk about to their audiences. And there's so many different outlets now where like, if you're an entrepreneur, and you're just wanting to get your word out. They do have outlets where, you know, there's podcasts now, um, like kind of what we're doing. You, you have social media um, interviews and things like that that aren't as formal. But at the same time, you know, when you're trying to reach your higher level media outlets, you want to have your game together. You want to have your representation in place. And you want to also have your presentation skills if you're doing it on your own in place. If you have to give one tip to entrepreneurs that they're starting their business out there today, what would be that tip that you think is important for them to know? I think, first of all, be realistic with your goals and trust yourself. 
um, you know, we all go through ups and downs and, 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 you know, mindset is key. It won't be easy. You know, it's not easy at all. Don't pay attention to what you see, what you hear nine times out of 10. It's a lot. It is a lot of hard work, but if you stick to the plan, maintain your faith, keep your mindset in place, brain hack yourself to think that everything's going to be okay. It will be, you know, to stay in the game. I appreciate it. Listen, Thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy schedule being with us today. How could people find you? Well, um, you can find me at Artelectual. That's A-R-T-2, Lectual on Instagram. My website is the same thing, Artelectual.com. Um, Jennifer N. Simpson on Facebook. Just Google it and you'll find me in different places. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking this time and being with us this morning. Appreciate it. Stay safe in Texas. Thank you. You too. Thanks for having me. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.